CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us live from Waihala Beach in Whiting. And Mike, no signs of social distancing there. You're definitely right there, Erica. Take a look at this beach that you can see behind me right now. And this beach is actually several times wider than this. In the years past, it was like three or four times as wide as, as it is as you look at it right now. And that, of course, is thanks to the high water and erosion. Now, people now have to cram onto this ever smaller stretch of sand. When you hear that sound and see this sign, you might think you're in Hawaii. But this is Whiting, Indiana, some 4,000 miles to the east. And this year, despite the pandemic, the beaches are once again open for the season on Memorial Day. How concerned are you about COVID-19? Not really at all. I work uh, at an airport right now. He believes that's far more dangerous than being on a crowded beach. And Samantha Rubian figures even if she gets it, her chances of beating the virus are good. Why are we going to freak out over something that has such a high survival rate? Julie Peremba isn't nearly as confident in the face of a virus that has already killed close to 100,000 Americans. I believe that our state is opening up a little early. And while she was at the beach today, she wasn't even close to the water. I didn't wear a mask today, though, because I didn't plan on being close to anyone. About 20 miles away at the Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore, it was a bit harder to avoid the crowds unless you were able to fly over them. When we first got here this morning, it was nice. Candace Teske drove here from her home in the Illinois suburbs. But by the time we caught up with her, she was telling the kids to pack up for the trip back to Mokina. People are just coming out, and I understand they're trying to enjoy their weekend and everything, but as for me and my family, we're gonna kinda take off because it seems like people just aren't respecting what we're supposed to be doing. Now, we reached out to federal, state, and local authorities to find out what they're doing to enforce social distancing rules. Only the Indiana Department of Natural Resources responded. They say they are using loudspeakers to try and encourage people to continue to practice social distancing. Reporting live in Whiting, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Erica?